This is the fight that I deem you cannot judge this fight by the stats. They're both coming off win streaks. They both haven't lost in over a year. They both have been begging to be on a big stage, and they're both getting that chance right now. Both of them are ideally young, and they both can go out there and do some serious damage. They can hurt people, and they've been waiting for this moment, and now they've found it. I've had a good run in Cage Warriors on 3 and 0 now. Um, I fought first Steve O'Keefe after a long layoff and I uh, guillotined him in 30 odd seconds. I'm very unpredictable, very adaptable. I'll take the fight wherever they want to go. For myself, if it's not working in a certain area, then I'll bring the fight to my strongest area or what I think is their weakest area. Oh, I'm, I'm made up Cage Warriors is back, you know. Um, Obviously, as everyone knows, it's probably the biggest promotion in Europe. They treat all the fighters great and they always have great matchups. You know, the best don't want to fight the best, but somehow on that promotion, they get the best to fight the best. I think where I will be a problem for him is I think a lot outside the box. There's a lot of things that I don't think he's really going to have a feel for that he's never really seen before. It's all right for you training yourself when you get in there on the nights where you'll stand for three rounds and you'll see you still standing at the end of it. When this fight's over and I come away with a win, I think, you know, when my hand's raised, it's really going to determine what type of fighter he is. A war? A war? Nothing, nothing, nothing left. And here we go, fight fans, the next bout tonight. Three rounds, it's in the lightweight division. And making its way to the cage first, finding out of the blue corner from Poole, England, Jordan Miller! First to the cage is Jordan Miller from all the way on the south coast in uh, a lovely little town called Poole. Now this gentleman is someone you absolutely cannot judge on paper. 15 wins. 14 losses. However, that debut was all the way back in April of 2005, so he's actually been fighting professionally for uh, just over 11 years. And you know what? He racked up uh, a period early on in his career where he picked up uh, eight defeats in a row against some of the best in, in UK MMA. But the really important thing is, since he, uh, since he moved forward in his career over the last few years, he's coming off six first-round stoppages in a row. Well, the walkout song alone, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to it. Yeah, that's a man who's coming off six first-round stoppages right there. And you know what it is? More than anything is to look past those losses and to completely reinvent yourself and then to come back and do something like this and be six, have six straight, you know what I mean? Six first-round wins, that's an amazing feat to do. So he's... Mentally, he's got to be tougher, I would think. He's just got to be tough as nails out there. Absolutely. A huge amount of experience through more than 25 pro MMA fights, but also more than 50 amateur and semi-pro fights across a whole variety what? of different styles. So 28 years old, this guy is going to be very At comfortable. 28, he's got, he's got, that's a huge amount. I mean, <laughs> oh, good Lord, that's 28 years old. You would think by hearing how much he's fighting, he's got to be at least 42. And his opponent tonight making his way to the cage, finding out of the red corner from Liverpool, Chris Fishgold! Chris Fishgold, 23 years old from Liverpool, 13 wins, one loss, representing Next Generation Jim. And I've got to say, if you haven't seen this guy fight and grapple, it is an absolute treat. He is incredibly aggressive, he's immensely imposing, and he's very, very focused. It almost seems like he has everything to prove every single time he gets inside the cage. His only loss was a decision win over in Taipei uh, in May of last year. But as you'd expect, being the kind of aggressive grappler he is, eight of his 12 wins are by submission, particularly fond of the chokes. Had a very long layoff of about 15 months after October 2011 due to injury and consistent pullouts from opponents, really frustrating him. And he missed all of 2014 as a result. But he's back, he's been training diligently, he's had some fantastic performances recently, and he's uh, currently on the three-fight win streak, gents. Yeah, I'm just excited to see what he can do. He's well-rounded. I got a chance to talk to him a little bit today, uh, this morning. I'm just really excited to watch him. Not showing favoritism, but 
You know, just being able to talk to him and watch his style. Again, he does have a really diverse style. He does a little bit of everything. It's exciting to watch, and you guys will see it. So it's going to be fun. This is going to be a great fight. And it's just that everything he does is done with so much aggression as well. It's not just the strikes. It's the way he cranks on the neck and cranks I was saying, on the He chokes. makes an armbar angry. He's angry at a triangle choke. He's angry when he passes. And now, five fans were set to go once again. Three rounds. This in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing five feet nine and a half inches tall. He weighed it officially 155 and one half pounds, and in 29 professional bouts, brings a record that stands at 15 victories with 14 defeats. Fighting out of Pool, England. Here is Jordan, the Alpha Male. And next his opponent across the cage, finding out of the red corner. Also a mixed martial artist, he stands five feet eight inches tall. Official weight, 155 and three quarter pounds. In 15 bouts, his record stands at 13 victories. One defeat and one draw. Finding out of and representing Liverpool, England. Here is Chris Fisco. And the referee in charge of the action is Ricardo Mitchell. Rich Mitchell, the referee here. Jordan Miller in the orange trunks, taking on Chris Fishgold in the red, white, and blue trunks. You can see Ready. that Phuket top Ready. team sticker on his shorts. Did spend a lot of time training out in Thailand, did Chris Fishgold. And very wide stance for both of them here. Oh, way to step in, throw that jab, throws a hard right hand, then he comes back in, same jab, and takes a shot. Yeah, big double leg, so good with his driving head pressure, stays locked to his opponent. You can see immediately triangling that bottom leg to stay very heavy in half guard as he looks to free the knee here. Now, I love how you said that. He did, he did it. I mean, I was like, wow, he's really staying tight when he gets his takedown, not giving up any space. He's not giving up that, you know, the guillotine that a lot of people, when they shoot, yeah, they give up that the space. Neck very yeah, well. he was defending right off the bat. Now he's doing a great job. Anaconda like climbing up the body nice and slow. Connected very well with the upper body here. Good tight gable grip around the head and arm, and just using that far side underhook to drive his leg free. And a really good side control position here for Chris Fishgold as he goes to work exactly where he wants to be within the very first minute of the bout. Oh, is he going to find the back here? There's On the, the neck. Jordan Mitchell left that head too long. He has a phenomenal guillotine. And, and he there it is. Did we or did we not say that when this guy goes after the chokes, he absolutely makes it count? Slow, calculating, dialed in, no wasted movement, no wasted energy. Wow, fish goal. I'm really looking forward to seeing the grip on the replay. I think it was a 10-finger grip under the chin, but you can see his coach, Paul Rimmer, from Next Generation. Of course, very, very happy indeed, as is Chris Fishgold, making extremely quick work of Jordan Miller. Let's have a look at the replay of the finish there. Jumps on the gear team, both hands connected, and you can see he's staying very high and tight. And as soon as he rolled him over and extended his hips, just crushing everything on the the neck and windpipe of Jordan, and, uh, Jordan Miller. Joe Martinez is going to declare the winner here. Fight fans again comes officially one minute, four seconds. Round number one, submission by Gantine for your winner from Liverpool, England, Chris Fisco. All right, Chris, man, I, I don't even know what to start with that. What calculating, calm, cool, real tight, great takedown right into that submission. Take e me through this. Easy money, easy money. <laughs> I love it. I love what you're saying, but you just did such a good job. When you got that takedown, you were so tight in on the takedown. You were tight climbing the body, calculating. You wasted no energy, and when you locked it up, you wasted no time. Take us through it. Thank you. Uh, no, I knew he was a decent striker coming out here, so plan was to uh, throw a couple of shots and go for the takedown. I ended up shooting sooner than I would have, but, you know, uh, it paid off. I have a tight submission game and confidence in my submissions. And, you know, it shows. You go to the ground with me, you're going to have a fucking early night. I got it. My man is on the move. Hey, everybody. Chris Fisco, give it up.
Another submission on the ledger of Chris Fishgold.